Hey there, in this video we're going to take a look at DevTools flame charts. Now flame charts help us visualize JavaScript processing over time, and they're powerful for spotting unexpected or particularly long executions inside our apps, understanding call progression and execution paths. To begin using the flame charts feature, we're just going to open up the Chrome DevTools, head on over to the Profiles pane, and begin collecting a new JavaScript CPU profile. So I'm just going to click on Start. We then start interacting with our app, so here I'm just going to make some user interactions. I'm going to give it a moment to complete collecting data, and then I'm just going to click on Stop. Now by default, it'll take you to the tree view. To display the flame chart view, you just need to go to the drop down at the bottom of the screen and select Flame Chart. Now let's take a look at what we have here. So we have a summary view at the very top with the regions in blue, and then we have a details view at the very bottom, where a call stack is represented as a stack of function plots. Now they're all colored and looking pretty sexy. Now the total height of these bars isn't tremendously important. The widths of them are, however, as this is what represents what's taking up time. Now we can zoom into a region by selecting it. Now my drag here is revealing the delta between the start and end of this selection. I can pan this area by moving back and forth across the, the white region and just see where you know execution time is being spent for different functions. Now the horizontal axis here represents time, and the vertical axis is the call stack. A block that sits on top of another block was called by the lower function block. Hovering over a block displays its function name, as well as some timing data. Now name represents the function name, that's pretty easy. Self-time represents how long it took to complete the current invocation of the function, including only the statements in the function itself, but not including any functions that it called. So that represents the 45 milliseconds we're seeing here. Total time is the time it took to complete the current invocation of this function and any functions that it called. So that's the 48 milliseconds. Aggregate self-time is their aggregate time for any invocations of the function across the recording, but not including functions called by this function. And finally, the 219 milliseconds at the bottom represents aggregate total time, the aggregate total time for all the invocations of the function, including functions called by this function. Now we can actually just click on any of these function blocks and jump directly into the sources pane to take a look at the line number responsible for it in case we wanted to go and make further changes. So that's the flame charts feature. It's useful for visualizing where execution time is being spent in your app, and we hope you find it useful. Thanks.